Hey guys, this is Alpha Life, and I'm playing Ages of Empires 2, which is uh, one of the, my oldest, most favorite games of all time. Um, this is an HD version, so the main difference is there's a few civilizations added, and a uh, few civilizations, and a population has been kept at 500, and I think later on they're going to move it to 1,000, but uh, when you, if you play online, things get a little weird uh, when, uh, when you have too many troops, things start lagging a lot, so... Um, and already making mistakes here because I'm talking, but uh, I put the resources on high because uh, I know I'm not going to be as focused while talking um, as I usually am when I play Ages. So I'm just going to put the resources on high so I don't have to focus as much in the beginning. Uh, but uh, this is a great, great game and it still exists and apparently a lot of people still play it. And I didn't think that kind of resurgence of a game could actually happen because I thought it was probably, you know, going to slowly die, but uh, it's still around and uh, an, in an incredible strategy game for those who love the Middle Ages. And I actually think a lot of the games they came out with later are really good too, but uh, this is definitely like the... It was just such a good game back then even, you know, so... Uh, I'm basically going to play as the Britons, as I usually do, because if they're archers, I think the Russians they added are really cool, um, the textures and everything. But, uh, yeah, I'm basically going to, throughout the, this whole thing, I'm basically going to talk about, like, my experience with uh, Ages of Empires throughout the years, and uh, this one, um, and what I think of it and stuff like that. Hopefully, maybe, maybe I'll go off on some other tangents, but... Uh, uh, Britons were um, uh, playing the Britons was uh, is like the best uh, probably newbie civilization to play with because they're so easy once you get to the castle age, uh, so much easier than other civilizations to be good with because archers just fire automatically and uh, I'm not saying they're super easy but all the civilizations are kind of balanced but the Britons are just they're so outstanding. Um, compared to other nations in this game that it doesn't really I think match up especially with a 500 uh, population cap, cap lock it uh, makes it really almost uh, I don't want to say unfair but if you have that many I'm not saying they can't be beat but if you have that many archers that can fire further than any uh, archer and and uh, unit um, once once you get so many of them it almost becomes unfair but uh, Right now I'm playing against the computer. This is a game I would typically play with my friend, but uh, he's not around, so. Let's see. I usually just, uh, I usually, I don't know, the AI likes to push for the feudal and the castle age. Um, I don't really do that. Maybe with standard resources I would do that a little bit more, but I like to get a lot of, um, I like to push things a little bit uh down. Uh, I like to grow economically and uh, have a strong, strong economy. Um, this is what I like to do before I move on to other things. Uh, unfortunately, this bush is really close to the edge, so I'm going to start building farms a little bit uh, sooner than I would like. Um, but uh, they're not all going to fit there. They're just going to collision into each other and not work, so I'm going to go ahead and start building farms now since I have that wood that I can... Uh, utilize but uh, if you guys would like uh, I would like to hear maybe if people would like to comment uh, their favorite map type to play on the Ages of Empires 2 if uh, I'm sure a lot of people have played it like uh, I don't know anyone like when I was in high school I didn't even realize how many people have played it until I started talking to people and realized it was actually like a really really popular game uh, but it was just kind of under the radar because like when Halos you know the Halos and everything came out people would that's the game people would talk about because um, it was so big, but a lot of people have played uh, Ages. They just it just wasn't a game that people would like openly and admittedly uh, admit to playing. And uh, and I I played everything. I played Halo, although I stayed up of Halo for a long time when it first came out. I didn't play Halo until Halo Three came out, and then I was into it when I got the Xbox and everything. But I kind of shied away from it for a long time because I was kind of like it was like. I don't know, I was more into strategy games at the time, but um, I don't know. My, my personal fav favorite of all favorite maps of any game ever made is Black Forest. I think it's the most excellent, most like best map ever 
Uh, I think that's how every shoot map of every game should be. Love it. I think it's perfect. Um, so I'd love if, if people would like to comment. I would like to hear what uh, people's favorite, um, not game type, but uh, favorite uh, map type is for Ages Two. Um, I'm just sort of interested because m my favorite has always been Black Forest, and I, I don't like to play with any water. I hate spending. I really don't think uh, there should be any water in this game uh, with the ships and all. I'm sure some people like naval warfare. I never did. Uh, I like uh, just hand land and fight and all that kind of stuff. I just I wish the sea didn't exist in this game. To be honest, it, it's just the irritating, especially the way you have to load troops onto the ship. Some some games fix that by like if you have a dock, you can just transfer your troops uh, very quickly, but um, uh, by pushing them into water, and they'll just turn into boats. Some games have done that, but this game never did, and it's like impossible. It just mentally, like with the amount of things you have to deal with, to actually load 15 units at a time into boats, and then you have to build warships to defend those, and it's like I, I don't want to have to do anything with that. Um, so that's one thing I didn't like about Ages is uh, the water. I'll see, I'm out of wood. But um, can't believe this. But uh, as soon as I run out of memory on my computer, I'm going to turn this into one video. I don't have a lot of memory for some reason. And that keeps lagging with fraps, but it's okay. I'll be able to get through this. Uh, let's see, I'm still in a dark age. Everyone is in the feudal age already. They really like to push it for the feudal age, the AI. Um, and I'm just gonna be around there. I don't, not really a huge pusher of the. I don't like to really push for the castle age until I'm economically ready. Uh, I just don't agree with uh, that uh, mentality. I mean, there's a few things you can improve your economy with, but there's just so much to invest in that I think if you're going too early, you're you, you kind of draw yourself back a little bit. And, Maybe I'd say now is a good time to go to the feudal age, but I think that the AI always scares me because it's like, oh, we're in the castle age already, but they really have nothing to show for it. You know, it's just something they did, and the points look good and stuff. But uh, ultimately, I think pushing uh, into the next age so prematurely is a bad idea. But uh, may maybe the AI is better. Maybe it knows exactly what it's doing. Uh, what you know, when the programmers were programming the AI, maybe they. I counted that a re that's where a really excellent player would upgrade to the next stage, but um, I've never been an excellent player of ages, but I don't know. I, I, as long as I'm left alone for a long enough time, I can grow into a strong enough empire to be a serious threat, uh, especially now that I understand the game. Uh, when I was a kid playing this, I never really understood how to be really good at it, but uh, I think I'm better now. Of course, against the AI, like... Um, it doesn't really matter. I'm not showing really anything amazing. Um, it doesn't really matter if I win or lose. It's just a practice game. Real people is where it gets really intense. Um, let's see this. Uh, first thing I do is I go around and upgrade all my stuff. Um, like all, all the resource gathering. Uh, really related to, to the resource gathering is what I upgrade first. Then I do other things because uh, I want the feudal age to be a huge uh, step up in the economic. Oh, see, someone just jumped into the castle age, and I actually I think my ally. So good for him, but uh, hopefully it works out. I, I just don't agree with uh, using that many resources to move up um, an age because there's nothing you don't have enough peasants really to do anything with it. So um, I just don't agree. Maybe maybe I'm a fool, but. Um, I would say hold off on. Um, and for the for those maybe who are watching or interested in playing the game but have never done so, uh, hopefully maybe this will get a few more people into the strategy genre. Um, I don't know, but I'm just gonna cut this tree down real quick, just so I can have farmland. There's gonna. I usually buy five men at arms in the beginning of the game, just to have something to hold the enemy off. If they decide to rush me, I might be able to transfer into more defense or whatever I need. But I really don't like to invest into the military until like 
mm, until late feudal age or castle age is when um, early castle age is when I start really buying the troops. I uh, don't like to do it before then. So hopefully I don't get attacked or rushed by the enemy because that can't happen and that would be uh, devastating for me. And that little sound that we all know and love, a farm is running out. Uh, so I'm going to establish my wood and food income first. I'd like to have a bunch of people here, a bunch of people here working, and then I can transfer into the stone and the um, gold and everything like that like a little bit later on. I don't like to push things too early. Let's see, I should probably figure out where my um, choke points are so I can build castle there later on, but uh, I've been kind of lazy. But uh, yeah, I started playing Ages when I was like uh, nine or something, and it was uh, I thought it was the most amazing thing, one of the best games ever. And then I played uh, all the other ones pretty much I played too, but for some reason this one is like just stands out. It like survived it, you know, the test of time in a sense. It's the one that people are you know remaking and playing still. And I'm, I'm sure the other ones have an audience too, but uh, this one's like legendary to me. Um, I don't know, everyone's in the castle? Yeah, everyone's in the castle age except me, so that's not good. I guess I'll move into the castle age. I'm going to wait for this villager to finish and uh, then do my castle age upgrade. And if you guys would like to comment on what your favorite nation to play is with, uh, I'd like to know that too, because uh, for me it was the Vikings, before I read, well, the Britons is, they were good, but I never liked to use them, because I always wanted like, ma like a huge melee troop army, um, but it's unfortunately not as effective, and I'm sure it can be used well, but I, I think a really good player that uses Britons is going to be kind of always better, because they can get Calvary 2 and I don't know. I've just seen uh, really people have, that got, have gotten really good with the Britons have always uh, been kind of It's like the M16 in Call of Duty 4. It's just like That's what you go for um, I guess or the AK-47 or something, but uh, it's the tr tr uh, true and tried nation that uh, Once they get a good bulk of troops it, it becomes very difficult. Oh, actually, you know what? I totally forgot I'm talking um, the blacksmith and the, and the market. Totally forgot about those. So that's going to hold me back a while, but it's okay. As long as I don't don't get attacked, it's actually going to put me in the economic position that I would like to be in more than um, being in the castle age. Just unfortunately, you can't get any sort of really good troops in the feudal age. Okay. And the difference between the castle age units and the feudal age is so substantial that if they really pushed for the technology and rushed you, you'd be kind of screwed. Um, they're, they're, it's, it's just those knights that they get uh, of, of these basic uh, men at arms, once they upgrade, the difference is substantial. Oh, well, okay, this is my ally, so I don't have to worry about this side. This is a pretty big wide open area, which is uncomfortable to defend. I can put a castle here, because you just know there's someone out here. Uh, so this big land is where most of my problems are going to be. I'm going to go ahead and put a wall here. Uh, why is this so fast? Put a wall there. Because um, I'm not going to be able to defend that really effectively in any way, shape, or form until I get a bunch of uh, archers. Until I can figure out the landscape a little bit. Um, and I can, of course, build these, which I will a little bit. I'm really behind on wood. Actually, forgot to build this up too. Um, all right, you go become a farmer. And as soon as I have enough wood, which I can't remember how much I need. Oh wow, hate wolves. Let's see if you can help out. 
No, he's too far away. Yeah, he's gonna die. Um, that's not good. You go. Volunteer. I probably should have gotten Loom, but I really don't like to get it until later. Even though a few of my peasants always die in this terrible way. I know the good players are probably thinking, why doesn't he have, um, why hasn't he explored more? Well, I just, I'm lazy and, uh, just don't want to really. So let's see. Okay, here we go. Get some free gold going there. I haven't seen any relics really, which I'm not too worried. I usually don't worry too much about relics either, but that's our enemy here. This is who I'm going to be. But these are my guards, I think. So they're going to be coming through here for sure. So I think this is a good place to place a castle. As soon as it gets to castle age. And there's going to be a huge military expansion. Once we get to the castle age, so I'm going to build houses to support the troops. Oops. Well, whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect. God, I'm just worried that they're going to attack me. I feel like I need more troops. Why is there a Viking here? Really? I'm just going to send these men out for the Viking. And that's a castle age unit, so they're they're there already, so if they were to push for it, they could really uh, knock me off my feet here. Also was in the Imperial Age. Kill that bastard. He's almost dead. Come on, guys. Oh, don't tell me he's faster than my guys. So I can't get out of there. Oh, wow. You see? You see how much, how strong the castle units are? I really want to get that castle up and running so I don't have to... um. Worry too much. I'm gonna use a bunch of these people. I'm gonna send them there now, so that I can. Uh... I establish my supreme rule over the land right here. And I'm just gonna upgrade these guys, even though I'm never really gonna use them, really, but. they getting attacked I can't really haven't really spotted like where they're coming from but I guess my allies having trouble once the castle is up I'm gonna be a lot less worried Wow that is really annoying where are they coming from that is incredible that they're ju they're just magically existing somewhere I've never had this happen before. How did they get through here? I guess that market is not going to survive, so I'm just going to build another one. No, you attack, like I said. This is bullcrap, I don't... Are they coming from here? I don't understand. 
I can't believe that Marcus survived and I just wasted resources. I, I don't understand. I don't understand. I think it's pretty clear that I don't have enough food to sustain my growth here. I'm going to stick to the castle age for a while, seeing as how I'm getting attacked, and I can't really upgrade too much from this point on until I, uh, see. At least I have a decent little defense force now. Um, we're going to start transferring to archers here pretty soon. There we go. That should do it. I just wish I knew where those Vikings came from, as I'm sure the Europeans did too. How many were being attacked back in the day, the good old days? God, I don't want to. Inv I could just investigate, but I'm just not going to. I'm just going to put up a wall and hope the terrible waiting ends. I'm just uh, going to be lazy like that and not really just pretend it's not happening. Is what I'm going to stick with. Once I get 30 of these guys here, this place is going to be pretty impenetrable until the late Imperial Age when they start getting trebuchets and all that good stuff. Not enough story. Let's get some people on the stone here. Because I want a few more castles up for defense and comfort. Everyone attack now. What? I don't like the sound of that. Oh god, they're I think they're playing the Mygars. Yeah, Mygars. They are just evil, evil people with horses. So let's expand our ability to see. See I usually like to have two to three town centers and the in the castle age, um, hopefully no more Vikings come from this land here. Right. Looks like they're going to start maybe coming through here pretty soon. Let's just start building another castle here. Put up a decent defense front here. Okay, these are definitely not the Vikings. These are not the Vikings. What are these guys? The Chinese or Japanese or something? Mongols? Or, um, yeah, I don't know where they are. Hopefully they're not here. That would be very irritating. Just, just in some tight space. The computer didn't know where to put them, so they just put them there, behind me. That was my... this building. This is very important. The range for your archers, for the Britons, you just, just upgrade that for a while. I usually don't go to the Imperial Age until I can get all the upgrades for my archers, so I can get all the upgrades in the Imperial Age. And once you get a bunch of them, it's it's over after a certain amount of time. I, probably, I have enough troops I could probably take one of those castles. But like I said, I don't really like to... Oh, wow. Well. Okay, let's investigate that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh wow, that castle's firing really far. Kill her. Right, let's get out of there. Oh, these, the... what are they called? The what, whatever, I, I hate these things, they're so punishing when they actually get to you. More population. Help them. Alright, I should be good from here on out. From here on out, it's pretty much like a slow grind through their empire. And what I like to do is have like battalions um, of archers slowly move one squad in front of the other and supported by trebuchets to take out the buildings. I just slowly have this defensive wall that can't be passed through, can't be, you know, touched in any way, shape, or form. That's that's my favorite strategy. Although I think wild and, you know, aggressive is fine too. I just, that's never been me. Let's see what's going on here. Are they being attacked? No, not really. Are they the more Aztecs? Okay. Alright, I think it's time to go to the Imperial Age. It's good enough. I just want to get uh, that last upgrade for the archers and uh, get some tribuches before I start moving out. That's a full squad. I'm going to slowly let these guys, the infantrymen, uh, the swordmen, die off. I don't really care about them too much. But I like to have them on stand ground, so they're kind of a defensive line here. And these guys are going to stand ground too, so they go move around. I don't like that, really. Hope they can get out of there. Oops. Yeah, if you, if you have two town centers, you can just keep um, building villagers as a uh, as you're going through all the ages. I I think until you're like in late imperial age, you, you should always be building citizens or um peasants. You should never ever ever stop. Eventually, once the wood runs out, if you're not playing Black Forest, in which case you will probably never run out of wood, um, you can um, just transfer to trading with your partners or keep a market alive in uh, your enemy's base and uh, and just trade that way with a market that's still alive of your enemies. And that works too. Actually, I should get a church up so I can heal my guys. And then I usually just place them on wood, and then whatever resource I seem to be running out of, that's the one I just go and um, compensate. Let's just put them here. The unfortunate thing is because they built a wall, all my guys are going to see how they're starting to get stuck at the gate. I can only build so many before they just start 
uh, getting stuck there all the time. And the cool thing is, is with this, um, with this version of Aegis, you have tab where you can. It's kind of like uh, A attack in StarCraft. Tab, you can place for, for them to go and they'll attack everything in that area. Kind of randomly, sort of. So that's kind of convenient instead of having to uh, click on a specific troop for them to attack. Uh, I think that's kind of nice. I'm going to usually build three or four monks just for uh, healing and then I slowly upgrade this stuff. As you can see, there's a lot more houses to build when you're playing with a um, population of 500. But I really would like to see what a, what a thousand uh, population lock cap would look like. Um, I think that would be pretty interesting. Actually, I think I should build an archery because I think there's an upgrade that lets your archers be 100% accurate. I don't know if it's just for those archers that come out of there or all archers. Oh, this is the one that makes your longbow elite, so it makes them a lot more powerful. Oh, let's see, heated shot. Let's need that for sure. Let's build, uh, what is this? Blast damage. Sure, why not? I'm not sure if that actually helps, but... Okay, it looks like it's getting to be... See, in the, a the dumb AI will just build buildings in the way to make sure that you are you can't trade with them. Let's build a few trebuchets so I can kill off those castles. Not enough gold. There's a gold patch. Is this really happening right now? <laughs> I don't understand where they're coming from. Where did this army just come from? Oh, they just broke through the wall. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. This is my solution to this problem. And where anything else is happening. I guess go here. All of a sudden there's an army in my base. Like, what is going on? keeps telling me that I'm being attacked here, but I can't tell where it's coming from.
I guess this is the nation I'm going to be fighting. And just for sanity's sake, I'm going to place a castle here, just so I don't have to worry too much. Alright, looks like this is the I'm still I don't want to invade that way. I really just don't feel comfortable with that. I'm going to slowly come through here. Well, let's just put enough put up another castle. I mean you never have too many. It's just right here. Wow. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, this. Actually, no, 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 so, something else. Maybe, maybe I have it already, I don't know. I could remember there was an upgrade that lets your archers uh, fire with 100% accuracy, but I can't. I don't know where it is. Yeah, my castle's gone. So I'm going to push this way. Castle gone. Ready. Fallen. Ready. Fallen. Mandata. Fallen. Ready. Yay. 